What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm, and I'm back with another video. Today they actually updated Ark to add trilobites under the water and a sickle to get fiber. Real quick, I just need to grab food also, so I don't die. But the fiber gathering is crazy now with a sickle. I've been told, I actually cannot research it at this moment because the engrams are still not giving me extra ones. And I'm actually losing things in my engrams, so it's not even fun. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna get some berries, and we're gonna go hunt trilobites, because they have cementing paste, pearls, and oil. And they come back relatively quickly, so we're gonna go hunt some of those. And then I should have a sickle tomorrow. I have people who are gonna craft me one and give it to me, so I can get fiber for a building video for Ark. So hopefully... You guys will be entertained with that. We are slowly getting on that 10k for the face reveal. Hopefully tomorrow night-ish. I will be streaming at the exact same time as the videos release. So that some people can give me live feedback. You know what I mean? Most of the time in your comments, the face reveals you want answered. You know what I mean? But uh, I also have to record the q and I still have not yet done that. Which is terrible, but truthful. I have not done it yet. I did not expect to be where I am now, almost hitting 10k so quickly. I was expecting it in a while. I bought a webcam and everything for this, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the content that I can put out. The face reveal will be just a face reveal. There will be no gameplay in the background. It will just be me reading the questions and answering them. You know what I mean? Uh, Twitch will have gameplay in the background. That, that will be gameplay because I can't just, just sit there in front of a camera and answer questions the whole day. Maybe start with like the first five minutes of questions and just reading chat because people like to freak out in face reveals. I don't know why. But uh, we will move on to that. And then I should be working with Star and Royal on the Survival of the Fittest training camp type thing, hopefully. As they work on their skills for tomorrow. They're not on the same team, so it's going to be interesting to see them actually fight for the first time. But I will keep my own answers and my own bets to myself. I know who well, should win and who shouldn't. So all will be answered in time. Um, so actually, if you guys didn't notice, I've been recording in 60 FPS now. Which is fantastic, but sometimes it can get a little choppy, I understand, because I don't always have 60 frames per second on Arc. On Rust, I always have 60. Rust is very V-Sync out and everything. I can't get higher than 60 because of the V-Sync. It's automatic. I think there's a way of turning it off in the indie file, but I'm unsure about that. Changing the files in Rust can get you banned. They have actual cheat protection that you have to download before you play Rust. So we actually watched a guy get banned on stream on Twi uh, when we joined the Rust server today. Someone got banned. That was fantastic because it just shows that, you know what I mean, cheaters are not as accepted anymore into Rust as they used to be. Used to be no protection. The admins did it all, and I used to just admin all day on my brother's old server. So, we will see as that comes. You guys will be seeing a new series. It will be called Demo Versus or Demo Dem Demolishes or Demo Demonstrates this game. It'll be like one episode series. And if the game does well enough on the channel, I might just continue a season into it. So, I think the first game we're going to do is The Forest. I've never really... I played the first five minutes when it came out and never played it again. So, I'm wondering how much it's changed, what I could do in it. And if you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, there's a few other games I have in my inventory. I have 168 games on Steam or something around that line. So there's so many games I can try out and do. So that should be also interesting. Right now, we're just flying over to Star's Base to park our Argentavis to go down to the bottom of the ocean so it's safe. Um, see, we're getting that stuttering that I was talking about. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like trying, I'm already out of breath just talking so much in one little loop of a circle <laughs> um as you guys can also see my brother plays rust with me sometimes so we will have a few collaborations there i think me and star are going to work on collaborations too so it's working out pretty well i get to actually play with my friends and youtube at the same time before i was just thinking i'm going to do it alone get through it but you know what i mean a lot of you guys do watch those guys so why not give you guys my perspective in all these videos that i used to be in look at that bloom let's get rid of that So what we're doing is we're going to ride over to my Megalodon and get to the bottom of the ocean that way. 
and Star's base is rendering in and it starts lagging me. We're going to land in the old pen because it's safer and I don't know what his dinosaurs are on. His base is actually coming out pretty well. I think he's been working on it on stream. Joshua's base rendering in. And we're just going to land down in this cage by himself. So we brought a crossbow so we can fight underwater. It's almost broken, but it should do the job. Bird. Plez. Plez bird? You guys can also see how many times we've graffitied this base on stream. It's been really, really fun. And there's my first base building ever. I built that by myself, and I want to see how far I could do it, and I didn't. And now look at what we have. Uh, I don't know what these guys are doing. This is crazy. I think he just moved his base sideways. Because I know there was a Spino attack incident with other players and stuff. Yeah, that is Josh. So I think he's actually storing his dinosaurs in there. We're going to slowly make our way to the Megalodon. Uh, da -da -da -da. I know they made it so the cattails don't drop as many berries as they used to. They used to drop so much. But yeah, if you guys have a particular game you want to see me play for like a one episode, see if I enjoy it or something, let me know. Um, if I have it, I'll play it. I'm not into buying a lot of games right now, as in school and college is coming up. It's quite expensive. The newer games I will be buying, though, because I'm going to enjoy them either way. School will not stop me from playing, you know what I mean, Fallout 4 and the games that I grew up playing. Oh, there's a dodo. Die, dodo. Ow. What? There we go. What the hell? I parked his Carno in there. It's pretty intense. And I know we're hungry. That's a problem. Hopefully we don't get attacked by a Megalodon. Or a Plesiosaur. I can imagine a Plesiosaur just being in this lake. Someone putting it in there. When I first thought, I thought Plesiosaurs needed air. I thought that's what it said, but I guess they don't. They're always at the bottom of the ocean. And they're lethal. They're usually level 35 or more. That's why I haven't got around to taming one yet, because it takes time. And time is of the essence at all points of the day. If you guys know how long it takes to render a video, it's not fun. You can't do anything with your computer when you render some of these videos. Usually you can play some YouTube videos, catch up on other people's stuff. Because as a YouTuber, you have to watch other people. You learn slowly but surely. And from like criticism in the comments, keep them coming. I enjoy criticism. I also enjoy comments. I read every single one of them. I may not respond because not all of them need a response. They're answered on their own. Or I'm getting to answering them in the upcoming day or two. Um, I'm going to be working on an exact stream schedule soon too, guys. I know the streams have been kind of... I have to like warn you guys like an hour or two before. So that people can plan around that stuff. And I'm lagging again because rendering. I just saw Megalodon out there. And there's dodos everywhere. Oh, Lord. But as we go, we will come and find the trilobites. And another render of a base. I don't know if these guys even play anymore. I've never seen them improve their base. I've never seen them have animals. We're just going to drink from that. And there's dodos everywhere. I like that the bow like looks like it has a scope on the top of the metal piece. I think that's just the rain supposed to be bouncing off of it. Um, for anybody wondering, I'm not in the survival of the fittest. For anybody who's asked it multiple times, I am not invited. Um, it's not a big deal because I was not doing what I'm doing now when the survival of the fittest people were like entering in and stuff. So who knows? I know they're adding that mode for everyone, so I will enjoy that mode worth every second of it. Because if I can just, you know what I mean, start doing that, we're good. Because I enjoy PvP just as much as the next person. It's not always fun to just do the same thing over and over and over. Um, right now I'm at that phase where I can only, it's mostly building. And I know there's a Megalodon down here. Yo, leave me alone. I don't need this crap right now. 
Trying to find the trilobite. I know Megalo's got this. Yeah, Megalo's just jacking up everyone it can. <laughs> and we need to rebuild stamina, so let's get a saddle on him. It looks like they stepped up the spawns of the, these things again, too. So hopefully... My shark will be able to eat again. And we head down to go visit the magical world. What? Oh, okay. For a second I thought I would have that. We're gonna go see if we can find a trilobite at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know what a trilobite looks like. Got to look kind of like a sea urchin. Megalo, stay there. We're going to see if they're in the in underwater cave. I don't even know if trilobites attack you or not. Alright, trilobite. Hello? Are you here? No? Okay. Back underwater we go. Um, I'm not very good at hunting these new animals because I never know exactly what they look like or what they do. I don't like to study heavily into those uh, dossiers because they're not always the most truthful things. Like, I know another thing I want to try when I get back is base building on the back of my dinosaur. Is that a trilobite? Oh, that is a rock. Um, trilobite. Actually, don't know where trilobites spawn either. There must be a place where they spawn a lot. What do they even look like? Well, I know it's a dinosaur. To me, that looks like a rock, but I don't remember rocks being there. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find the magical trilobite by asking that. So I guess we are searching in the right spot. Now it's a question of, can we find them? Let's see what we can do. Fishes. Oil. Trilobite. Where are you? Sorry, I'm getting quiet too, guys. Oh, Lord. New. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not a thing, guys. It's not a thing. Come on. Come on. No. We're not actually going to die at the bottom of the ocean, are we? Alright, that was way too close. I, I wasn't paying attention. This is what happens. Let's see if berries can do the health thing. Or are we just gonna die? I can't go back to the bottom until I have health. Let's see. out of the water for a second. We stop lagging. We're stuck. No. Sorry, I'm not talking, guys. It's getting stressful.
health is not coming back either. Maybe I have to be out of the water to gain health. Please don't die, demo. The lag is not helping either. Yep, feet on the ground, we get health. Alright, good to know, good to know. Thatch and stone for meat. We could use some of that. But anyways, guys, I am sorry I did not find a trilobite on my first way down. It is. This, these are the things that happen only to me. I promise you. Only me. Who can almost drown on their thing. Because they're not paying attention to how much help they have. But we made it out. We made it out good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a quick fire. Oh, so they spawn on the beach too. That's easy to know. We'll keep an eye out for him. I'm breaking my number one rule is leaving that thing on. My saddle on it. But we are in dire need of meat. Sorry, Mr. Dodo. Mr. Dodo, I wouldn't mess with me. I wonder how big trilobites are. Um, what? Um, fire? Why aren't you cooking? <laughs> what? Did we break the fire? What is going on here? Um... What? I'm... I seem to have broken it. But anyways. Oh. Wow. That's pretty sweet looking. Don't be in the dossier. And we found a trilobite. That's very interesting. Are they chitin magnets? Oh, they're pretty easy to find then. Oh my god. How? How do I miss these things? Can you tame these? Oh my god. That's why they stepped up the bow so high. Silic pearls oil? Oh my god. So guys, that's a trilobite. Small creature. Easy to kill and get oil now. I don't know why this one's living so long. Game. So that is how you do all this quickly. I'm gonna have oil for days. Jesus. They're probably gonna step that down in the next coming days. I can see that in the for future. Um, so yeah guys, that's the Trilobite. It's an interesting little creature. Pearls and oil from harvesting it. And you also get the chitin that everyone needs for compound bows and stuff. I wish that was out when we just made the compound bow. Honestly. It took so much work to even get that thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave him next to Bruce. And now I feel really, really dumb. I'm going to take some stone arrows. And we're going to say bye, Bruce. Bye, buddy. And we are going to head back. 
So yeah, guys, that is the trilobite. I feel really, really, really dumb. Almost died. Trilobites are just on the beach, basically. And yeah, so ta-ta for now, guys. I've been Demo, and that's a trilobite. Bye.